100 for 100, the podcast, wherein we take 100 films for new movie watchers. We distill it all the way down to 100. And then I rank them from 100 to 1. Films I think you should watch as a new movie goer. If you're out there trying to dip your toes, you're trying to figure out what film's all about, these are the joints I think you need to watch, man. Some entry-level films. I ranked them for you 100 to 1, and I accompanied each with a 100-word review to whet that appetite. Yesterday, we talked about uh, Star Wars, 40, 48 on the list. Number 40, surprisingly low for me anyways. And yeah, I surprised I put it that low. 47, today's joint, however, is a foreign film, an Italian film called Life is Beautiful. Came out in 1997 and it's directed by Roberto Bonini. Wonderful man, Roberto Bonini, great comedian. Uh, let's get into this 100-word review of, uh, of Life is Beautiful. Here we go. One of the warmest, most heartfelt, and emotionally ringing movies on this list. Life is Beautiful is a story of a Jewish shop owner who utilizes his vivid imagination to protect his son from the horrors of a Nazi tr- concentration camp. To write a dramedy about incredibly dreadful actions committed by a group of people was a gamble that paid off tremendously for Benini, who also stars in the film. Radiating a goofy affability and an abundance of energy, Guido is the centerpiece as he charms his uh, charms his to be wife and eventually makes the ultimate sacrifice to save his son. Now this is coming. Um, well, at the time of this recording, uh, right the day after the Oscars, where Jojo Rabbit won for Best Adapted Screenplay at the Oscars. Um, these two are kind of cousins to each other, I would think. Um, writing about the, the, the horrors that the Nazis visited upon the Jewish community, writing that as, a, as something in a somewhat lighthearted frame is, is, tr- is risky. Boy, the size of the testicles <laughs> to even attempt something like this. Um, but both of those movies, both Jojo Rabbit and Life is Beautiful, nailed it. Completely nailed it. Um, whereas Jojo's a little bit more lighthearted. And, and you know what? They both start out quite lighthearted. And then things take hard left turns. In this case, when, um, when Guido's family gets snapped up and sent to the concentration camp, the that entirety of the second and third act of this movie um, serves specifically for... Uh, for Guido to keep his son's mind occupied and to divert his attention away from the horrors. His son never knows that they are in a concentration camp. Guido tells him that this is one giant game being played. And, uh, and that's what the, and the boy believes. The boy is young enough and gullible enough to believe that. And he has to use uh, his, his charm, his improv- improvisational mastery really, to uh, to continue to create this illusion for his son to protect him from these terrible things. Um, and he does it wonderfully. He does it wonderfully uh, to, to have to go through the rigors of the concentration camp while also diverting his son's attention. Well, it, it taxes him. It taxes him. Um, you know, and in the end, things play out how they play out. This movie is wonderfully directed by Benini and wonderfully acted by Benini. He won his Oscar for... I don't know, I think Best Foreign Film, I guess is what it would be, because I think he might have gotten nominations for Director, Actor, but I think he won for Best Foreign, or he might have been Best Actor. Can't remember. It won an Academy Award. I remember that. It's one of my favorite memories of the Oscars with him walking on the backs of chairs, <laughs> the people sitting in the chairs to get to the stage. Um, it, it, it shows the, the the goofy affability that, that Benini's Guido had. Um, you know, in the, in the the sparse contact with his wife, who's also in the same concentration camp, um, you know, he sets that 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 play into into motion of trying to escape the, the concentration camp. It is charming. It is heartfelt. It is terrible. Uh, it is emotional. It is a ride from beginning to end. It starts out just so wonderfully lighthearted, and it just. As whereas Jojo takes a hard left in the drama, this just descends down into the genre, uh, the 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 drama. Check out if you haven't. It's another one of those where you're gonna have to read some subtitles, so don't let that intimidate you. Check out number oh, what number is this on my list? Number forty seven on our list. Life is beautiful. <laughs>